please get ready for a dictation of exercise 1 and 2 from progressive magazine of may 2022 5 seconds start i read yesterday that my friend and old colleague jay prakash narayan has said recently that i should help i forgot his words in establishing or in developing a strong opposition to the congress this is a very strange request i believe completely in any government what it might be having stout critics having an opposition to face without criticism people and governments become complacent the whole parliamentary system of government is based on such criticism the free press is also based on criticism it would be a bad thing for us if we if the press was not free to criticize if people were not allowed to speak and criticize government fully and in the open it would not be parliamentary government it would not be proper democracy i welcome criticism in parliament in fact we welcome criticism from our own party members the amount of room we have in our own party for criticism of government's policy is great but when jay prakash ji says that i should build up an opposition does he want me to build up a bogus thing to oppose the congress what value or what virtue will that have with all respect to jay prakash ji the example is not a good one there was no democracy in turkey real or even unreal it was a dictatorship does he want that kind of thing to happen in india the point is that the opposition should have the freest opportunity to express its opinion in the press and on the platform and to fight elections i cannot canvass for the psp or the communist party they have the freest opportunity to do so the election commission is independent of government it is open to you to any of you to vote as you like you know that there is no question of pressure or coercion i do submit that we in india have a greater degree of freedom in elections and in things other than elections than almost any other country in the world there may be a few countries which have the same freedom as we have but a far greater number of countries in the world have no such freedom we have it and i'm proud of it and i'm sure it will continue i want every type of opposition to go and apply to the people the people should decide to whom they shall vote for here jay prakash ji says it would be good for the congress to be defeated i might perhaps agree that it might be good for the congress to be defeated but surely the question is not for us but for the people the issue is 
what is good for that country not what is good for the congress our friends like jay prakash ji have got so entangled in their dislike of the congress that they have forgotten such a things as india and the good of india it is my belief that if by any mischance the congress was defeated it would be very bad for india i do not say that congressmen are better people than others there are good men in other organizations there are patriots in other organizations it is not a question of personal friendship it is a question of the national good supposed in parliament instead of the strong congress party we had a dozen or 20 small groups with nobody in a majority what would happen there would be no stable government and each little group would intrigue with the other there would be offers of ministerships for people who gave up a party to join another that is what inevitably happens when there are all kinds of parties with none having a majority i can give you instances where countries are failing because of the failure to get a stable government at a time when we talk of the second five year plan when the energy of the nation should be put into development when we have pakistan shouting itself hoarse about jihad and war are we to experiment with numerous odd groups it surprises me and amazes me that a person of good sense should suggest something which totally ignores the facts of life in india today the facts of life are these that we have to fight a tremendous opposition in india not any political party but our own failings our own liability to go wrong our disruptive tendencies our communalism our provincialism our casteism our readiness even to break into violence and so many other things our history shows that we are very prone to disruptive separative tendencies and if british rule in india did a good thing it was to make us united in our fight but really the first effective mass scale attempt to build up this unity was by gandhi ji under and within the congress it brought results and yet you see how soon such unity goes to pieces take the question of states reorganization whether the decision 
was right or wrong is it not fantastic for people to commit violence for that stop